Good morning, folks. We're looking at 24 hours of calm conditions on our star. We saw a brief uptick in activity, but when this surface surge is your top event of the day, you've got yourself a quiet situation. Right now, it is the filaments that have our attention, a solid one extending from the northern coastline of the south polar coronal hole extension. Then, on the north, we have a number of plasma filaments, but the biggest is cresting over the limb just now. Close-ups of this are coming in shots of our star to close. Even with continued mid to high sea flares, I'm sticking my top alert with those filaments because the sunspots are not impressing me this morning. Major decay up front with weakening magnetic interaction trailing behind. May have lost the delta designation as well. The big story in space weather today, however, is at Earth. That stronger solar wind stream continued all night. It began tipping the BZ negative and we are having what looks like could be a sector boundary as well. Sensitive meters got hammered during this combination event, from the electrons to the magnetometer to the magnetic pulsations detected in our system. It was a medium intensity event, leaves us with a KP6 level 2 storm at the moment, eyes on that today. The corona holes are coming in from the left. Per last night's video, which is linked for you right below this one, an earthquake watch begins today based on, among other things, these coronal hole openings, which as of now only see tremendously significant power to the southern opening. Please check out last night's earthquake watch video if you are new to the topic. It's a good one. Top news article today comes out of NASA, describing how even small CMEs can be deadly without a magnetic shield a Venus oxygen loss event. So in the Indian Ocean that little bugger is in no hurry to do much of anything. But meanwhile, those remnants near Perth are organizing and creating weather there while a new cyclone forms and begins approaching a tandem low sitting at New Zealand already. This will be important to watch over the next 36 hours, especially with where that storm track might shift. So that's last night's US convergence line. Basic atmospheric chemistry with air masses working out their differences. Some were severe, like this thunderstorm that briefly knocked out my power in Pittsburgh. Others were a bit more severe. The temperature delta tells you how much of a climate extremes event this really is. Heat racing up the eastern side of the convergence while frigid air dives in to fill the void at the west side. Storm zones move very quickly tonight to the coastline where another day of major alerts is expected. We've still got a bit of circulation down near Spain, but these two lows up north are taking all my attention at the moment, still carrying on the legacy of a high pressure node that blazed this trail. The cloud line they are delivering to the north appears relentless, doing its Energizer Bunny impression. Scroll down, got some great links for you guys below brand new video in Yelverton's lab over at our website. Also got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.